Hello, welcome back to Daily Dose of Stocks. Today, I'll be talking about Coinbase, which is a major crypto trading platform that just IPO'd. They're up 30% on the day, but they're actually down. And if I go to the one week, you can see since they opened up at 381 instead of the expected 250, they're actually down 13%. But they did immediately spike up to $424 a share, which was up on the week. Okay, just a quick reminder before we get into the video, I'm not a registered financial advisor. Okay. So, as I mentioned before, Coinbase is a crypto trading platform. Obviously, they're going to have a lot more cryptos available than regular stock brokerages like Robinhood and Weeble, which do have some available, but you actually own the crypto. And it's different on brokerages. So, their market cap's at about $65 billion, and I think that they made a mistake. I think that it would have been better for them if they did a stock split. Their mar what that is, is it basically everyone would get, have the same amount. If you had one share and they did a one for five stock split, your share would be worth about $66 a share. And give or take a few cents. But that's not important. So since they went up, since they opened up so high at $381 a share, I think it limits their growth a little bit. Because. I know other stocks, so Snowflake, I have it right here, thought I had it, anyways, was a tech IPO, it's not working, whatever, anyways, they IPO'd at like $200 a share, and shot up to 400 and they tanked down, back to 200 so, I'm pretty sure Airbnb also did, a, had it pumped and then dumped like that, so, I think that opening up at a high price sets them up to not grow as much. So, personally, I'm not buying in at this price. If they do in the future do like a 1 for 2, 2 for 1, or like 5 for 1 or stock split, then I might consider buying in. Because at $60 a share, it would be a lot more affordable for people who don't want to trade fractional shares or have brokerages that don't allow fractional shares. So, Tesla did, they allowed themselves to be more accessible to people who couldn't afford $2,000 a share by putting it to $400 a share. So, they set themselves up to have a higher volume. Obviously, the volume is going to be higher if they have the same thing, but more people were able to purchase it. So, the people who are purchasing one share at a time were now purchasing five shares at a time after Tesla split. But then other people and with a lower income were able to purchase it at $400 a share, and then it shot back up to $900 a share, which is the equivalent of $4,500 free split. But now they're down. So I think having a lower price actually sets them up to go up more in the long term. Also, I think that it would be cool if a crypto company made something simple so you could actually create your own crypto and list it on brokerages for other people to buy it's just it's just an idea of mine i thought that like a cool thing for brokerages to do encourage, encourage a lot more people to use their things but it sounds complicated anyways that's not the point so personally i'm not buying the stock now either until it drops get back down to 250 or under 250 which was what it was supposed to open up at mostly many ipos open up up as I mentioned before, Airbnb was supposed to open up, or I think it was DoorDash, up sixty-eight dollars, opened up over a hundred dollars a share. So as I mentioned before, I am not going to be buying it at this price. Just a quick reminder for it in the video: make sure to subscribe, buy two stocks, call me in the morning.